Confusing a handgun for a taser is a deadly mistake, but what training do officers go through to ensure that doesn't happen? And how can something like this slip through the cracks? Madeline O'Neill spoke with a, an expert in law enforcement training. Get some answers, Maddie. Yeah, Eric, the expert told me that Taser International does training specific to tasers, and usually each state has its own version of training for general use of force when it comes to electronic control devices or tasers. It's all meant to prevent situations like this. Disturbing? From the perspective of a law enforcement trainer, or just a human being. You don't like to see uh, law enforcement use deadly force? Brian Landers has decades of experience in law enforcement and training under his belt. I've literally trained thousands of police officers on use of force issues. I think a question going through a lot of people's heads is how something like this could happen, how a mistake like this could be made. Yeah, and that question should be going through a lot of people's heads. This appears to be broken down to a, a training issue. To help distinguish the difference under stress, Landers explains officers are uniformly taught to keep their taser on the opposite side of their duty belt from their gun. Tasers are often yellow and are intentionally designed to look and feel different. A fully loaded firearm is probably going to be two to three times heavier than that taser. Late Monday night, the officer who shot Wright was identified as Kim Potter, a longtime veteran of the Brooklyn Center Police Department. Would more training have helped? Well, it certainly wouldn't have hurt. Landers advocates for more mandatory use of force training, but also making sure that officers are taking it all in. And the harder part for a lot of agencies is removing those officers on the street that are showing that in training, they're not able, they're not capable physically or mentally, of making these high stressful split second decisions that they need to make. While there is mandatory use of force training for new recruits here in Wisconsin, Landers says there should be more continuing training for officers each year. Matt.